how conception works. We did the demonstration to show you exactly how fertilisation works because I don't think everybody understands that conception doesn't always occur on the day that you actually have sex. So you could have uh, sex on a Monday, for example, and you might not fall pregnant until the Sunday as a result of that little rendezvous. So let me just show you. So we're going to pretend that these little coloured beads are sperm. And when ejaculation occurs, the sperm travels up through the cervix into the uterus and then they start looking for an egg to fertilise. So they go into the fallopian tubes and they'll just sit and hover around there for several days until an egg's released if one hasn't, isn't already in, in the uterus or in the fallopian tube. So the 20 pence piece that you can see there is an egg. So once it gets released, as soon as it hits the sperm that's viable, it will get fertilised by it. And then the egg um, starts to split into lots of different cells and it then buries into the side of the uterus and turns into an embryo. Now in the case of twins, non-identical twins, you will have um, two eggs that are released at the same time. It doesn't happen typically but some people it happens to. And the eggs are released, the sperm will then hover around trying to find the eggs and then the sperm will fertilise the eggs. Now you have to remember that the, the sperm kind of it can live for several days. The eggs will only live for about 12 hours or so. So there's only a 12 hour window for the eggs to be fertilised.